Hello, viewers of the internet. How's it going, folks? Hope you're feeling well. As always, I'm your host, Icy Vulcan. Welcome back for yet another video. Today, we're here to quickly discuss Batman Arkham Knight for PC. Uh, the game was pulled back four months ago from the redoubt and popular digital store Steam. Four months ago, since June, within days of launch, the game was taken down by Warner Bros. due to its his poor performance. The game was nearly unplayable on most people's PCs. There was a huge outcry from reviewers and regular consumers. Uh, after, after Batman Arkham Knight's whole debacle, Warner Bros. finally came out with this official statement four days ago on October 24th on the Steam forums. At 10 a.m. PDT, October 28th, Batman Arkham Knight will be re-released for the PC platform. At the same time, we'll also be releasing a patch that brings the PC version fully up to date with content that has been released for console, with the exception of console exclusives. This means that next week, all PC players will have access to photo mode, big head mode, Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman skin, and character selection in combat AR challenges. Season pass holders will also have access to all content released since launch, including, you know, what goes on after. Uh, but the reaction from the community basically went on like this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, honestly, this is a perfect, perfectly legitimate reaction. Considering that Warner Bros. has not provided any indication as to whether they would give the consumer some kind of compensation for this four-month month long wait. My question about this whole situation goes like this. Will Warner Bros. provide any sort of freebies to launch time consumers or maybe even apply some sort of discount to the re-release copy on Steam? How about offering free DLC content? like Ubisoft did back when they released uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, which, by the way, came out in awful shape. If this isn't the case, if all of this isn't happening, if they're simply just re-releasing the game as it is with all of the updated content from the consoles, console versions, then the game, then Arkham Knight PC will, on PC, will definitely, most definitely have a challenging, challenging time selling copies Considering, especially considering that huge PC titles are right around around the corner, like Fallout 4, which is coming out in about a week and a half, and uh, Star Wars Battlefront, which is actually baiting, getting beta tested by lots and loads of players. So at this point, even at this point, a, a portion of the Arkham Knight fans already played the game on console version, so... I don't think that a lot of people are going to be coming back to play the PC game. And there is still a good portion of people that are waiting to play the the damn PC title. But, you know, if if Warner Bros. does not provide the, the PC players any sort of compensation for paying the full amount of the copy after waiting so long since release then they're going to lo lose a lot of supporters. At this point right now, the hype train for that the damn game has departed forever ago. So, Warner Bros., you better, you better surprise me like Ubisoft did. If you don't, then I'm sorry, but you've lost respect from me. This is perhaps the biggest fuck-up on Warner Bros.'s side as of late. I hope, I seriously hope that the, the the developers go above and beyond instead of simply promoting what they already have to offer from the normal copy. If they ever want to gain back the support from the consumers, they should offer some sort of gift to the fan base. If they don't do that, it's they're basically slamming the door on their supporters. And it's a huge slap in the slap in the face. But anyway, the reason that I'm mentioning this game is because I'm actually going to be streaming it on my Twitch channel uh, on October 28th, which is tomorrow, which is right when the game gets re-released. So I already have a copy of it from back from when I bought my uh, video card upgrade. So I have an official free copy of the damn game. 
It's ready to be downloaded and we'll be streaming it on October 28th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So stay tuned for that. Uh, this whole week I'm spending uh, every day, uh, every day I'm playing a different game. Uh, lots of them are dark slash spoopy themed uh, because we're celebrating uh, Halloween, which is on October 31st, as you all know. Uh, so we're playing lots and lots of games on stream. I'm taking this whole week off to just play a variety of spoopy dark games. So uh, if you ever want to watch me play games live, head on over to twitch.tv slash icy shards for some uh, shitty commentary and professional gaming footage. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know I haven't posted anything for quite a while, but, uh, you know, I just need some inspiration and ideas for the channel. In the meantime, I've been streaming a fuck ton on twitch.tv slash icy shards. So I'm there three times a week, at least three times a week, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So if you want to see me play League of Legends, Hearthstone, and a variety of other games, come on over and we'll have a blast. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Uh, make sure to like, comment. Uh, if you want to talk about this whole debacle, please feel free to, to provide your opinions in the comment section below, guys. Thank you for your continued support, and we'll see you on an upcoming video. Till next time, bye bye